everyone, it's Ashley, uh, and what is up my sleeve? Uh, I don't have a ton to say today, so I'll get right into it and hopefully it'll be a shorter video. Um, highest weight was 320 pounds, uh, that was in 2012, sorry. Uh, I had lap band surgery in August, October of 2012, I had the lap band removed August of 2016. Uh, I had gotten back up after having the lap band taken out to 309 pounds. Day of surgery, I was 301 pounds. Just, like, so many things. Dates and craziness. Anyway, uh, December 21st, I had the sleeve. That was six weeks ago. Uh, today, I weighed in at 275. Uh, and so that's two pounds from last week. Yeah. Um, and I think it's did the math. I can't remember. It's 30 something pounds. <laughs> uh, yes. So, um, this week I went to the gym on Saturday. Uh, went to the gym on Monday, went to the gym yesterday. Uh, my schedule for the gym seems to be, we can work it out. Um, excuse me. Um, Monday I go and walk on the treadmill. Wednesday is Zumba Tone. Thursday is Zumba Strong. I said it wrong the other day. Um, it was... It was something. Sorry. <laughs> this runner just ran by. And... A dog is chasing him. The dog isn't from next door. But he is like... He's really a skittish dog, and so now I'm like, he was barking at him, and it's very unlike him. Anyway, <laughs> that was suburban life on Long Island. <laughs> um, yeah, so Zumba Strong was something. Um, is a lot of burpees, and I only did a couple. Um, she gave you alternative things to do um, instead of doing that, and I kept moving the whole time. Um, but I just cannot do burpees right now. Um, I carry all of my weight right in my stomach. Um, and so I have a big fold, you know, apron type stomach. And, um, it just hurts too much to go up and down with the skin flapping kind of like that. Um, there's also another move in uh, a regular Zumba class where it's kind of like you're skiing and you hop like this. And I never do it. And she probably thinks I'm just being lazy honestly but my skin when I do quick moves like that my uh, skin doesn't always go with me or my flubber doesn't always go with me and it's it's annoying for my fat to be going one way and my body to be going the other and um, so I don't do it but anyway um, but I didn't stop moving what she did I did do um, the alternative move she gave us yeah. And, um, so that was, yeah, I was sore <laughs> the next day. Anyway, um, and then Sunday, Saturday I do, um, Zumba in the morning. So then, um, Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday, I don't do anything other than live my life. Um, and sometimes that's running around the mall. Sometimes that's really sedentary. Um, anyway, so that's that for working out. Um, this week I had, like, ground beef for the first time. I'm usually used, usually we use, um, ground turkey or ground chicken for anything that calls for ground meat, just because it's usually cheaper. Uh, but they had a sale on it a couple weeks ago, and I bought, um, a couple packs of beef. And I was so full from that beef, um, that... I mean, two hours, three hours after eating, I could still feel very full and um, almost like I couldn't drink, honestly. I didn't really, I felt like I just, could, if I drank, it wasn't going to go down. Not that it wasn't going to come back up. Uh, if you're an ex-lap bander, you would know about throwing up, honestly. Um, but it was just, I felt like nothing else could fit in my stomach for a very long time. Uh, which is annoying because I needed to sit, keep sipping my water, but 
what can you do? Um, I wanted to point out that I have, um, I used to have an old, uh, I have a regular Instagram account, which is my personal account. I used to have uh, one for my other channel. Uh, I've now changed that one from my other channel to this channel. And so it is, um, what is up my sleeve uh, on Instagram. I will try and put it right here if I can. <laughs> um, and yeah, so if you want to check that out, um, cool. I have been picking, I've been posting pictures of my food. Uh, and then I realized that my food is really boring because I eat a lot of the same things, um, kind of over and over again. So yeah, uh, you will see a picture of my homemade P3s, which I'm really excited about. Um, if you want to go and see those, um, trying to think if there's anything else to talk about. Oh, I've been using my vitamins like I showed last week. I've been trying to be vigilant with those. Um, I feel like my chocolate and caramel chewable calciums are like a little candy every day. <laughs> I usually eat them together, so it's like a chocolate caramel something. <laughs> I've been doing really well. Um, I haven't eaten anything that's not on plan but I have wanted to. <laughs> um, it's so here, now the video is going to get long. Let's talk about this. <laughs> if you're single or if you don't have any kids, I envy you, <laughs> honestly. Um, I don't have to give my kids gummies or chocolates or chips or that type of thing. Um, but I do. They have, uh, you know, gummy snacks sometimes. They have, well, tortilla chips because they had nachos for dinner. And it's hard not to just literally, oh, he didn't eat that one, and just pick it up and eat. It's, you really have to be mindful of not just picking up something and eating it. And I, I've, this past week has been particularly hard. Um, just because... I never eat off my little one's um, tray. I never, if he doesn't eat something, he doesn't eat something, it goes in the trash. Uh, I I don't find that wasteful because it's his food. And um, it would it would do more harm to me to finish his food um, than it would to just throw it in the trash, honestly. Um, because I know lots of moms who oh, I finished their food and I've gained like 10 pounds from finishing their food because I've eaten my portion and then I've eaten half of their portion, that type of thing. So I've never done that. And, um, but you know, he doesn't want to eat four of the gummy snacks that are in the pack and, oh, you know what? I can't do it. I just, you, you can't do it. So I really envy people who don't have, um, those type of, distractions honestly so uh, my last thing I want to talk about is uh, I actually got coffee I've been wanting coffee really bad um, and a decaf is like, really expensive <laughs> it's like two dollars more at, at our store for a, a thing of decaf um, and so I actually got half calf nope apparently it's called light is now named half calf Anyway, um, I am not a person who needs caffeine or coffee to like function in my day. Uh, I'm more of a, it tastes nice. So that's why I'm going to drink it. So, um, I've been having usually one cup in the morning before I eat anything. Oh, that's it. Oh, you know what? Actually, I wanted to show these and I should take off the sticker from my produce. That's not going to happen. Okay, so I'll take it out of the bag. Um, we had Greek meatballs the other day, and I didn't have one of these, um, but I got them for my husband and son. Um, they are the Greek lifestyle flatbreads from Contcos. These are um, more protein, less carbohydrates, less sugar, less calories. One piece, 180 calories, five fat, 20 carbs, 8, di eight fiber, um, but 15 pr uh, protein, which I thought was really 
if you're going to uh, have this type of thing. Uh, we have one left. I'm trying to think. Each one of my my husband, and my two kids had one, and then there was this one left. Um, I'm probably going to make a pizza out of this for my son tomorrow uh, because he has a half day, so he doesn't have um, lunch at school. So I'll, that won't be used up. But um, I thought if you were interested in that type of thing, um, I can't tell you how it tastes. Um, nobody seemed to mind it in my family. Um, so if you're ever looking for something to make a pizza on, they're obviously quite, you know, good size for that type of thing. Or if you want um, to have a gyro. A gyro? Hero? Mm, yeah, I'm not Greek. So <laughs> um, I've now made it an 11 minute video. So <laughs> I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.